dealing with the Nexus 7 today I'll be showing you how to unlock that bootloader we're gonna get that rooted and get a custom recovery on there so we can do an Android backup okay it's actually very easy I'm gonna to go to this website here this is on xdadevelopers.com and this is Wugfresh this is his toolkit it's just an amazing toolkit and uh, makes doing all this very very easy so I'll of course include the website in the description you just need to go down to download and then we're going to download that first file there. Now I've already done all this of course so you'll need to download it and uh, get it extracted. I'll load the EXE. Once you do that it's going to put a nice little icon here on your desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Now when you first open this up it's going to have you install different files and such. Uh, but for right now I'll show you kind of what the screen looks like. It's going to bring you here. Uh, select the device that you have. Well, I have a Nexus 7 Wi-Fi tablet. I don't have the 3G. And what version are you currently using? Now I'm using 4.2.0. If you've updated, you're probably on 4.2.1. I'll show you how to tell. I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And when you do that, it will show you how to enable USD, USB debugging, which is really important, and it'll probably have you download some files. If it doesn't, that's okay. All right, so in order to get to USB debugging on your tablet, we need to go to, actually, let's set it here. Okay, we need to go to settings. Then we need to go all the way to the bottom of settings and then to about tablet. Then what we're going to do is the build number on the bottom, I'm sorry I'm getting ahead of myself here, uh, the Android version for me is 4.2. So if you have 4.2 you will select 4.2.0. If you have 4.2.1 it's actually going to say that. It will say 4.2.1. Now, in order to unlock, in order to unlock your bootloader and root, we need to enable USB debugging. So, to get to the developer options, you'll just tap build number at the bottom seven times. Now, for me, it says you're already a developer, so I've already done this. So I don't have to do that again. Okay, and then, whoops. Then we'll just go to developer options that have now opened up that weren't there before. And USB debugging is right there. About third check mark down. I'm trying to get my camera to where it'll show it, but not really wanting to. So just make sure that's checked because the bootloader cannot be unlocked until that's checked. Okay, so I'll just go back to the home screen. And first thing we'll do is unlock that bootloader. Now, again, uh, this will erase everything on your tablet. Everything. Pictures, videos, files. It doesn't matter what's on your tablet. It will be gone. So make sure that you back up all your files and everything. Er, I'm sorry, everything to your uh, computer. Just drag your pictures over, all that good stuff, and make sure you back everything up first. All right, so we're going to unlock the bootloader. And the script's going to unlock your device, all that good stuff, click OK. 
It's going to check ADB status and it will reboot into the bootloader, which looks like this. That's sideways, of course. If you see the red letters at the bottom there, it will say that it's locked. Once this is done, it will say it's unlocked. Okay, so now it says we're going to have a screen come up on the device that says unlock bootloader. So we're going to say yes, may void warranty, but no worries because we can unlock it later. Or I mean we can lock it back later. Oh yeah, I don't know why I'm trying to tap the screen here. In order to select this, you have to use the volume buttons to go up and down and the power button to select. So I'm going to go ahead and tap the power button. If I can reach it. All right, back to that screen. At the very top, you'll see unlocking now. And just there at the bottom, it said unlocked. Now, if you see now, you have a little unlocked icon under Google. So that tells you that your bootloader is officially unlocked. And then this says waiting for your device to finish booting up. So we'll go ahead and do a screen of both here. It's going through several reboots, which is very normal. There we go. Okay, <clears throat> next thing we need to do is get back in there and re-enable USB debugging because this will this will get rid of that. When you unlock your bootloader, it's going to uncheck that option for USB debugging enabled. So we need to get back in here and re-enable that. I don't have a Google account because I'm not worried about it right now. First name is D for Droid Duck. Okay, back to settings. Back down to about tablet. Tap build number seven times. You're now a developer. Back one screen. Developer options. And then check USB debugging and OK. That's done. We'll go back to the home screen. Okay. Now we're going to root. So I'm going to select root. I have custom recovery checked because I do want custom recovery installed. So I'll go ahead and click that. And this is just telling you that it's going to overwrite the default stock in Android recovery and you have to be unlocked. Well, we unlocked our bootloader, so we're good. Checking ADB status. And then it's going to reboot here. And if you look at the bottom, the red letters now say unlocked.
So what this is doing, this is going to boot a temporary image to your tablet and it's going to download the files needed to root to your tablet and then go back to the bootloader and then actually root it. Pushing root files to device. And back to the bootloader. Flashing custom recovery, so this is the part where it actually roots. You can actually uh, charge your battery while it's in the uh, recovery mode, which is handy if you uh, are trying to change ROMs and your battery runs out on you. It's kind of like safe strap for uh, cell phones. Okay, so waiting on the device to boot back up. Android is upgrading. And then here we are back. Okay. So next thing we need to do, and this will say enjoy your rooted device. The next step that is absolutely important is we have to go to BusyBox Free. We have to do that to complete the root. We're going to grant that. The S Super SU request will come up. We need to grant that. We're going to let this load. And then we're going to install BusyBox. Takes a couple minutes, but not too, too long. Okay, so it says it was successful. So that's done. All right, you are officially rooted. Wonderful job. And just so you know, um, this does, in this state, it does violate your terms of use. So if you ever need to take your tablet back for any kind of repairs or any kind of service, anything like that, um, I have a video also on how to unlock your bootloader and, I'm sorry, <laughs> to unroot your device and relock your bootloader. That way you can take it in and have it repaired or maintenance or anything that needs to happen to it. Okay, well thanks for watching guys, have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time.